Uh, I would think my heart. I think mum passing in prison because uh, that day. Remember, I couldn't. There's no. There's no friend or club or anywhere I can go or have a surrounding or yeah. I was just in a cell and you knew that she died and it then. just kept repeating it just it's just things are just repeating in your head by definition an underdog is a competitor thought to have little chance of winning a fight or contest for me an underdog means something completely different an underdog for me is someone who fights back someone who bites back someone, someone who, who doesn't, doesn't give, give up, up. Someone who keeps on going. That no matter how difficult the fight is, we don't give up. We keep on biting. We all have the underdog within us. Welcome to the Underdog Bites Back. So I have asked Mr. John Harding Jr. to sit with me because I think you are an inspirational man. Thanks. You, for me, are the epitome of what I define as an underdog. So for some people, it would be oh, underdog, oh, you know, it's like they're a loser. But for me, an underdog who bites back is someone that, despite adversity, mm-hmm. despite trauma, tragedy, loss, you keep saying, I can do this. Mm-hmm. And I want to inspire people by your journey and mm. um, by your motivational words and by your presence. And I want them to hear your story to feel that, you know what? I can mm. bite back too. So let's talk about the first time, and I'm not talking about boxing, because we'll get there. Mm. What's the first time in your life that you felt you had to fight back. Wow. Um, there's many times, you know. Um, the first time in in my life when I had to fight back was, I think, just growing up in uh, in New Cross Estate, where it's like, um, it's either be the, the victim of a rival gang or, you know, um, or fight back. and, and Literally let, fight. Yeah, literally fight back. Go, go over there and attack. If you know what I mean to Where show that Where were you going when, to attack? Uh, these two, when we were growing up, we had a rivalry with um, Peckham. Okay. That was our, our main rivalry. So. so you were born here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you were that young African youth, mm. come from an African family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They decided to come to, you know, a better life than your family and start mm. fighting. Like, did yeah. your mum not, like your, your parents, did they not wonder what's going on for you? Because nah, they, they sacrifice, no? They, they didn't know. They, they wouldn't know. They, they, you know, we just come home and like it's normal. It's only, you see, when I grow up now and I look at, say, like, nephews or kids my age and I think, wow, I, you know, the things I was getting, getting, in, getting involved in, like, um, just, just troubling the estate in general. Just like, it was hard being African growing up as well. So, you know, you have to... Is it that you weren't respected or... What happened? Because yeah. I, I can only tell you, as a West Indian, mm. even a girl, I can't yeah, relate yeah. to it. What was it like as an African young man growing up in, what was it, the 90s? Yeah, yeah, what yeah. What was yeah. it like for you? Uh, well, Woodpecker State, New Cross, um, it was uh, like Caribbean base, but it was it was hard because it wasn't the the thing to be African. It wasn't the, the it wasn't thing. It was trendy. Yeah. There so was no like, Afro beats. I just remember being young and then seeing... Someone, two people cussing each other, and then one person say, called him an African. And that person got angry and chased them. And I'm thinking, <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually like, hey, hold on, I'm African. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it was, it was already that kind of battle. If okay. you know what I mean, it weren't, and it weren't this the is in thing to be dark skin either as yeah. well. So you've got that kind of battle of like as if you're just born into a losing race, but you just gotta, like you say, fight back. So mm-hmm. you're reg- so for me, what I find really difficult sometimes is culturally, mm-hmm. you know, we are we are black people mm-hmm. and we're fighting each other. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. do you think now when you're adulthood that's changed? Are black people still fighting each other? I think it's I think we're doing it in a different language. How? Tell you know me. What I mean, um, I think, well, I can only only see from experience uh, as as black people. Sometimes we see someone going in a direction where we should aid that support and and we don't we'll watch 
and and not support like maybe another culture will, if you know what I mean. I, I can only compare in in boxing. I'm in the world of boxing and there's ticket selling. You'll have more of a, a, a white boxer come and these crowds there and they're selling out. You have a black person. <laughs> it's like there's a pin drop. Like he's struggling. To sell his Yeah, tickets. to sell his tickets. But he's good. He's got the talent, but he can't get to that epitome. You can't get to that, you know. And as a boxer, is it, how important is it to have your supporters there? It's very important. It's everything that like you hear them talking about. There's some boxers that are big because of their support. Right. If you ain't got that support, you got to kind of, you have to jump in the deep end. You might not even be ready to be in the deep end, but you've got to jump in. Maybe someone that's had more experience than you. More Instead of like boxing, more or less, you build yourself up, experience. Someone who hasn't, they have to just jump in. Like, they have to throw the dice. You know what I mean? And that's yeah. that's... And that's the um, challenge of of, of 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 the life of not having the support. But boxing wasn't your first employment. No, no, no. The wasn't. roads. The roads. You hey, belong the, to the streets. I hey. <laughs> you <laughs> belong to the streets. I did. What was man. your roadman name? What was it? Oh, uh, Pesta. So you could wait, 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 wait. So I thought we had broken through because oh. I still know you as Pesta. Yeah. Why are you holding on to the title that defined you at that time that you? Tried so long I've to get now, away from. I've now turned into something positive. Ah, okay. You know what I mean? so, so it's not Pester the... No, no, no. So no, what no. was Pester then? Pester, hey, he was he was a pest. He was he was he was someone at the same time. I would say always was joking. I was always cussing people. That was something I used to always do. Okay. Yeah, I'm cussing, or you put a, you put a song on, and I'll be cussing someone to a beat and making people. That was always my character. But at the same time. um uh, you know, I was, I was, you know, I was a shotter. Like I used to, but my thing when I used to shot, it wasn't like to just shot for the sake of selling drugs and say I got this. It was always to get by. I used to even pay for studio time, or I, I was still trying to go boxing. I'll pay for that. Right. Um, uh, like help out if if bailiffs came around. Uh, yeah, yeah, I got that. It was never. That's why I can never put it to someone like I say, listen. I can't tell you not to do it, but I can tell you, listen, have your plan and get out. Yeah. Don't stick at it, if you know what I mean. How do you feel about the shotters now that mm. are on the ground with their wads of cash, their cars, like showing out? It's, it's crazy because in, in from the streets perspective, you kind of, uh, you idolize someone and we idolize the dealers. Like, I ain't growing up, you see them, I thought doing your thing was, you know, you're trapping, you got your line and you know, you got your, whatever your cars, whatever. And that was like, wow, that was our heroes yeah. in the streets growing up. So. But that was monetary heroes though, right? Yeah, but at the same time, yeah, same time it was like, we saw that as, yeah, he's doing his thing. So I need to, yeah, that's what, that's what I need to get to. Oh, right. wow, he's doing his thing. So man, um, it's tough. You see why it's tough when you see it? Because when you're, um, when you're in prison, and then you see someone, because they don't know where they're going to. They don't know where the car or the road that they're leading to. And when they're in prison and people sign that paperwork, and that paperwork, when they're now when they're trying to say they didn't do this or they didn't, and that the paperwork of the evidence has got those pictures that they posted up on the gram of them there getting used against them in, in thingy or the words they said or the, the caption they said or something in a song they said. You know what I mean? Because the feds are smart, you know. Yeah. Like, I'm not being funny. I don't know why people think that, number one, they're not on the gram. Posters, yeah. you know, a sexy black female yeah. that's following them mm-hmm, mm-hmm. or in their snap or whatever. I, I don't know where common sense sometimes mm-hmm. doesn't reach the roads. Mm-hmm. Because for me, by posting such things, yeah, yeah, yeah. you're putting yourself out there. But it's like it's, it's, it's you got to show out, mm. and culturally, mm. I wonder why we feel that we've got to show out all the time. You're very right. That's it's culturally because I, I don't know why as us as a race feel that we have to. I don't know. Um, just show off, if you know what I mean. Show off, and as there's, there's a phrase, someone would say, "Stunting on niggas." Like they, <laughs> yeah. they like to stunt on another person, yeah. if you know what I mean. Instead of. Building, like, like, I can't not, like, obviously, like, anyone, everyone likes to put a nice picture. Oh, you do, because and, I you know see I mean? you come yeah, out yeah. sometimes with your little fur. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to, hey. <laughs> I had to come up with a fur. <laughs> I came to the boxing event in the fur. Oh, my. 
I stepped in, it's like the whole crowd leaned back, like, who? Who's that? And it was just me. And I was like, yeah, it's me. I know you were totally feeling yourself. You oh seen like the glow God. up. When yeah. you put up the fur and then the glasses, you was just like, I was like, you was a whole different guy. So, it's, you know what I mean? So, in that sense, yeah, sometimes you gotta come, you have to feel good. I love feeling good. I love, I love mm. material. I love, fe- I've loved things and I, and I, I love like, to feel good, I love to look good. Yeah. But um, to to I don't know to do it to harm someone else. Yeah. Nah. Because we're, ha- really. we're harming the community. So mm. by selling drugs, by um, encouraging young ones yeah, yeah, to yeah. sell drugs, because that's the the new thing. You know, you get your yeah. runners and they're 13, yeah. 12 and you're thinking, wow. what are we inspiring our future to be? Because mm. as you said, you know, you look. They look up. They're, they're, they they yeah, are yeah. sponges, mm. and this is what they see as the right thing to do. And I think. You know, you've obviously taken a different path, but then our young people might say to you, "Well, you did it, and then you came out of it. Mm. So why can't I just do it and come out of it?" That's 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 a very good point. And if someone said that to me, well, what can I tell them? Mm. The only thing I can just warn you is where that road can lead. You know what I mean? I'm only showing you things of, but what I'm showing you off is this is what I've got from the boxing lifestyle. Mm. So if you want to follow me in that sense, follow. Yeah, them. yeah, yeah. But um, I can't. I can't not. I don't know what they're going through. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, 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 I've been in situations where electric cut up, bam, I've paid for it. So I, I don't know their situation, what they're going through. You know what I mean? I don't know the, the, the motivation. You know what I mean? I remember being young and we've done a couple moves or I've seen a little Iceland van running there, took this. Oh, mama, I brought shopping back, you know. <laughs> hey, John, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, love. You know what I mean? That helped my situation. Yes. If you know what I mean? So I hear it. I, I can't, mean, I can't. You were in prison for how long? Oh, look, I went three times. Jeez. Wait, wait, wait. Once bitten, twice shy. One to the first. How did we get to three times? I, I, I liked the, 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 the free, the rent free and the, and the, and <laughs> like and the you job. Must have. Like, me, like, seriously. Um, no, how did I just, you get three times? Uh, it's weird. One, I went guilty. The other one, I bust case. The third one, I got found guilty. And so you just decided, even after one experience in jail, that mm. that was not enough to stop? No, okay. In this, when you're, Okay, like in my first experience, yeah, I was caught on camera selling drugs. I got three years. Um, and what, you serve half? Yeah, and then I came out early. Something happened and they accused me of a robbery case. And they didn't give me no fairness. Mm. They just wanted to remind me. It was so harsh. That's something I feel. It was so harsh just to to get me in there. Eventually, the court saw it and they threw it out. They okay. couldn't believe why I was in there. You know what I mean? Uh, next time uh, was kind of like operation. I got, uh, you know, got found guilty. But in between those, I did always have kind of like a vision. But like after my first time, I was still, I went back around the circle of friends I was, mm. but there still doing, you know. That in, stuff. But yeah. by this time you've got your daughter, right? Uh, that was kind of after my second time. Going into my third sentence, my daughter came. So and I'm, I'm guessing it hit yeah. different when you went yeah, in jail. Yeah, it hit different. It did hit different. Because at that time, I'm still thinking. I'm still trying to go to boxing now and again, doing my little music. And um, shot on the side, which is, you know, at the time it's helping me pay for this, mm. pay for that. But it's weird because I was... I was still kind of focused on like, you know what? It's, 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 I'm still, I'm still shutting a little bit. I'm still doing this, but I'm still kind of focused kind of on my dream. Do you think you're a good dad? I've tried the best I can be. So I feel, yeah, yeah. Would your baby mother say that? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you think you could have done differently as a dad? Um, as a dad? Um... For me, uh, to answer that, I could be, I can only be the best version I can be. For me, I'm the best version I, I am, and I, and I do my best. I couldn't better. I, you know, what one thing in life we have to learn not to do is live in regret. Yeah, big. When you regret, when you open that cupboard mm. of, of of and relive live things and rewind, what is yesterday is yesterday. You've done everything you can. To your best your ability to make today the best it could. It might have not gone the way you've gone. Start tomorrow afresh. And that's something I learned to always do. Because I was very bitter in terms of when I went to prison of, of uh, how the police done my case and, mm. and everything. And then 
when I was in prison, the scripture in uh, Genesis, when uh, Joseph was in front of his brothers, it says, you intended to harm me, but God intended it for good. Mm. And that's what it is. That's why everyone, everywhere I go, everyone wants to know about my story. Yeah. But please, please you intended to harm me. But you know I, think, I, mean? I think you're, it's not even about your story, because I remember I met yeah. you, and I tell you, you know, from a personal perspective, I yeah. met you yeah. in a exercise capacity. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I was in, I don't know if you know this, actually, I was in a point in my life that I was really struggling. Like oh, mentally, it? I um, was at a crossroads, uh-huh. whether I was going to leave my husband or not. Wow, wow. And I was needing an escape. Mm. And I was not, you know, infidelity, etc. I was not feeling myself. I was feeling you know, ugly, fat, all of that. And I needed, I thought, yeah, let's get the revenge body on. Yeah. No, <laughs> she said the revenge body on. Is this how the women think? Yeah. Hey. Because that's what you want. You want him to regret, mm-hmm. you know. And then you and I started working out. And that changed my focus, mm. yeah. So coupled with you and I started to go to therapy, mm. you caused me to think about me. Like what, okay. the, what what's best for me? Okay. And sometimes when you used to make me jump on this big box and i would say i can't do that i would tell you i can't do it you like you can and you would stand there grinning and i would want to punch you in your mouth yeah yeah, yeah. and you'd say you can Mm -hmm. and knowing that i jumped on Mm -hmm. this box Mm -hmm. it was like i can achieve anything so sometimes you don't even know what you're doing thank you so you don't know the impact that you're having and that's Mm -hmm. why for me like seeing your your journey and seeing that you've overcome stuff yeah. has encouraged me to overcome mm, stuff mm. as well. Because I think, wow, this dude's gone jail, he's done this, he's had mm. poverty, he's had all sorts. Mm. But you still enter the ring. So like I was thinking about your fight, yeah? yeah, yeah. The last fight, I messaged you and I was like, you're going to win this. Yeah, yeah. You was training hard. Yes, you was in, yes. was it? Gr- I was uh, in Portugal. In Portugal. You was there for months. Yeah, I was there for months. It was like I was serving the sentence. <laughs> like, how non-stop. come you were there for so long? Because uh, uh, we went there before lockdown, then... Fight dates were getting moved. Okay. If you know what I mean? So it's like you're peaking at there, which is very, it's very in boxing. You shouldn't have to, have to stay in at a peak stage. Yeah. When you've got a date, you can kind of fine tune it. When it's peak, 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 it can tire you out a lot. Right. So, um, yeah, but it was, um, yeah, it was definitely a different, different experience out there. Man. When you were there, you looked great. Yeah. You know, there was like at least 12 packs on your chest. Like the packs were pow, 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 yeah, pow, yeah, pow, yeah, pow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, nah, whoever tests you right now is going to get it. This my, yeah, yeah, but then yeah. you lost that fight. I know. Um, what, how do you keep I don't, encouraged? Don't get to see, listen, it was, it was, um, mentally I was down. It did, it did hit me because it was like, I was in, I was so, so confident. Yeah, I was confident. I was so confident in, in that. I was so confident in, in the person. I knew the person. We've shared the ring. I've daily knocked him out in the ring. I thought, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to run through this. And it was just, I can remember at the time where I'm thinking, like, I know my body. I said, yeah, this after six rounds, my energy, my energy comes back. Yeah. It's not coming. What the heck is going on? In my head, I'm like, God, what the heck is going wrong? You know what I mean? And, you know, to to go home that night and sit down and and it's mm-hmm. like, you know, your face is known. You know what I mean? You don't you don't even know there's a there's a delivery man that's come to give you saying, Oh, do you know how to do that? You bro? are a blue tick done now. So it's like Man's got the blue ticks <laughs> on Instagram. Like you're not just some little nobody now. You people that you don't even know are watching. And it's it's very weird. It's very weird. You're not used to that, if yeah. you know what I mean. So it's like it's there, and you know, is is you gotta just dig yourself up because hard times reveal everything, reveal people. What makes you dig yourself up? Because for me, mm. I get knocked by adversity, mm. and I find that especially if it comes pow pow pow, you know, like one thing, then the next thing, then the next thing, then you open the door, and then you get a bill, and then you get a phone call. I find it hard mm. to get out of that. What? What's your technique? I have my moment. I do. I digest it. And then, how long is your moment? It won't be, it won't fool for days. It, it's not uh, days. It's not days. It's not okay. days. It'll, but it can, it come in and then it come in and out. But then, what I realized, I think, you know, um, in this in this life, what what made me realize everyone in this world or what I seen this day and age, no one likes hard work. Yeah, <laughs> no one's hard work. That, and that's that's what was make making me um, overcome a lot of people because 
I didn't mind to hard work. I didn't. I looked to see. No one's running in three in the morning. No one's gonna be going to train this time and training that time. No one's is. No one's studying their work. No one's doing it. So, but what what I did, I started realizing hard times is the process. It's not hard times. It's the process. When you start putting in your head, that's my secret to it. Right. Ah, this is the process. God, what am I meant to learn? I was like, that's what I was like in jail. So there's who am, lessons. I meant to, who am I meant to meet? Who am I meant to learn? What am I meant to learn from this? What do you think is your purpose? When I've prayed about it, my purpose is, like now it inspires people because every, that's to what everyone says. And I, Even not being a winner? Yeah, but eventually I am going to be a winner. If yeah. you know what I mean, that's what I believe because uh, I dreamt it, I visualized it, and what you visualize, um, uh, visualizing is your common attraction, is faith in it. Yeah. So um, it's all about just dusting yourself up and going back. Okay, you, you made a mistake today, make it right tomorrow. You made a mistake yesterday, make it right today. Sometimes I think one of my struggles is mm. being a woman of faith, mm-hmm. wondering, God, why did you do this to me? God, why you embarrass me? Me, mm. me, me lose again. Like, mm. I'm shot in tickets. Like, mm. these are, you know, people that are coming out to support me. Mm. These are people coming to encourage me. Give me a break. How do you deal with faith and, and failure? Uh, you, you deal, yeah, okay. Uh, one thing I do, I watch a lot of people, the great people, and I look at what they went, went through and I realise that failure is a part of its success. Mm. You have to um, embrace it. The Bible says, consider it. But when you're in trials and tribulations, because be joyful, basically. Yes. And I couldn't understand it. Yeah. And you don't understand, how can you be in pain? Be joy, because that's what it, what is it? Uh, you know, basically, it's saying you, you preserve for it. You're built, your character's built in it, the, the hard time. And then you think back, every hard time, haven't you got through? Didn't yeah. God get it through? And he doesn't give us more than we can bear. You so. think about every situation that should have kicked you down for six. Yeah. Just like you saying, okay, you went training because of so and so, whatever you was going on. But you're you're here today. Yeah. You're smiling, you're yeah. doing the thingy. Yeah. So put yourself and if you go back in time and tell yourself what, what the message you'll give yourself, you're gonna head up. Mm. Head up. Yeah. So do that to yourself now today. That, and that's how it is. I had to, you think like in front of it's not easy to be boxing in front of, you know, thousands or, you know, you and you and you and people in America are watching. Mm. I get messages from all over. But then there's messages from people that are just like, you you inspire me and yeah. I, and I, that touches me so much. And um that's why I tell people hard times love hard it times. Us. Love it Thanks. because it makes you better, it makes you stronger. Like I wish I, I, if I knew me, if I knew I'd be sitting here with a camera watching me while I was in the in, in back in the prison cell, I would have smiled through my sentence. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean, if we've got if if, if God tells you, listen, in two thousand twenty three, uh, May, you're gonna be you're gonna get half a million, you're gonna be a millionaire. Yeah. But, oh my God, you'll be smiling. Yeah. You probably cut off a couple people. <laughs> like, right, I don't care. But that eliminates faith. Yeah, that's the reason why faith. The Bible says faith pleases God. Yes, it is impossible to to. To, to, to please him without faith. And I, I look at what you post on Instagram, for example, like you, mm. you each year yeah. you recognize a day that you were released from jail. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I'm always inspired by that because yeah. you don't forget. Yeah. You don't forget where you've come from. It keeps me grounded. Because yeah. you know what it is? Sometimes I be, I'm a human being, so sometimes I'm like, man, I should be here. Mm. I should be there. I see my friends with titles. I say, but I've put myself in that deep end, so it's pushing me. Yeah. So I, sometimes I don't recognize how far I've come, and then I look back at it and I say, "Wow, I remember, I remember yeah. stepping out." <laughs> yeah, I remember when it was like nothing, and people were like, oh, "Don't, don't trust, don't, don't trust Pess, you know." No, no, he always goes to prison. He always goes. You know what I mean? To have that label, mm. but when you work hard and your time will come, yeah, you'll be like, "Ha, you made it." You know what I mean? God is great, man. And and you know, I think to myself, okay. You are a jack of all, so you mm-hmm. do rapping too. Yeah, yeah. So how were you mixing rapping and boxing? And I'm talking about as well the influence on the music industry. Yeah, yeah. Um, let me understand about Pester the rapper. Yeah, yeah. Who yeah. is he? Pester, Pester the actual rapper. Um, I'll say he's a fly guy. All right. You no, know, he's, 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 he's good with his words. <laughs> he's entertaining. And um, he loves those who love him. 
Is so, that ladies? That's is <laughs> it's everyone, everyone, every okay. support I have. Um, and um, how I, you know, it was one of them ones when I when I stepped. I remember praying this in that. So I said, Lord, the day you let me out, I will never let a talent to waste. Wow. And that was it. And I, I had, that was my agreement to God. I said, I will never do it. I will never let it to waste. And that means when you when you got remember when I was in prison, there's the officers that come in my cell and see my boxing pictures. I said, oh, I waste of talent. Yeah. I, I used to do poems in church in front of people and they hear me the way that I put words together. Yeah. They look at me after, waste of talent. That's all they would say to me. You can't hear that again. I done acting one time. One time I done acting. Yeah, you love to act in your music videos, isn't it? And they just done the head, the head of the prison. She said, that hardened, that hardened. Waste of talent. Oh. And those words, but instead of letting it cringe, I said, all right, guys, I'll show you. That it's not going to be a waste I of use talent. negativity to fire me. Yeah. Yeah, it fires me. Whether it's, whether it's backstabbed, heartbreak, that fires me. What, what do you think I could just get up and run in the morning at five, three or six? What's the hardest heartbreak? Love loss or boxing loss? <laughs> hmm. That, that is a very good one, you know, because <laughs> it's, it's all about when you're in, in that moment. Mm. Um, it's, it's, it's weird. Uh, I would say, ooh, Lord, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a call. You got me on that one, you know? Hey, my friend. I don't know, because sometimes love loss, your, your heart is just like, it's, ah, your heart is just, it's just, it's just moving like a cowboy. It's just, it's just hurting. You didn't even tell your heart sharp now, that way. You're just going, ah. Yeah, <laughs> it's just doing the mad thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, oh man, I think, I think the love loss, it's weird, but I don't think at the moment, love loss, but it doesn't last as long. The, the box loss, you have to actually pick yourself up. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because when I've, I started, and what I started realizing, I remember when I saw other boxers lose and they lost maybe, you know, on a worse away. And, in my head, I think, oh, bruv, you're all right. People lose life. Mm-mm. And that's how I'm thinking, hold on. So why am I so hard on myself yep. about certain things? Because I'm looking at, I'm encouraging next one. One time I'm investing, yo, bro, you know, you don't, don't head up. Yeah. I remember it was live on TV, live TV, everyone watched it. Pam, it was, it was a dirty one. Mm. I messaged him straight, hey, bro, head up, man. Are you crazy? Like, listen, you, you look what you come up And I looked and I said, so I'm giving this to him. What about me? Yeah. Oh, my. Holding, like, you know what I mean? And but sometimes it's not the outwards, because I'm sure after a match, I can't mm. even imagine the pain that your body must be feeling oh, is intense. It's, it's crazy, especially, um, mine is more or less on my arms, because I catch a lot of punches on the arms. Right. Well, that's something I've trained to do. Mm. My arms are just swollen, which is crazy, so I'm trying to drive. You can't even like, go to sleep. It's your arms, are just like my biceps are just in pain. If you know what I mean? So, um, that's, so you, that's one of the hard... You have to focus on the recovery of that. Yeah. You've yeah. got to focus on the recovery of the mind, mm. the soul. So then you have to, you have to even check this. Parts of your body you got to check. Like, there's so much checks I've done. I had to find, I found out, oh my God, damn, I've got to clear this. I've got to make sure I rest. I've got to do Don't you worry though, because I know there are some mm. boxers that have died as yeah. a result of injury or had serious life changing, um, changes. To their life, um, do you not worry about that? And 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 also because you've got yeah. a child that's it's all a risk. You. I can't say it's all a life is a risk, and I feel like if you're not ready to take risks, there's no point. I understand risking your life is a touch different for the fact of entertainment, but um, boxing has just changed everything for me. It's brought love. I was I I would never had love. I was always loved. I've never had love like when I jump in the ring and start sparring. Yeah. That was always, that was what... Is that your first love? I went to my, I couldn't want to say my first love. But it's like anyone that just saw me spar, they're like, wow. It's just like, damn, bro, this, damn, that guy can fight. Yeah. Damn, they want to know me more. They want to know What's me. next though? Because now, I mean, we're filming this in lockdown in the yeah, UK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And... We have, this is our third, this is lockdown 3.0. Yeah. And now we've got restrictions with everything, only essential movement mm. Mm. Um, and places of business open. How does that change things for you? Uh, 
I've been I've been used to change. Just like when you, I don't know, you, you know, you grow up with one parent, there's a change. Uh, you, you move house, there's a change. You go to prison, there's a change. You move cell, you move to another wing. From there, you get set free. There's change. So I've learned to just adapt. Um, for me, uh, when I hit lockdown happen, okay, what do I do? Put myself in motivation, fill my head with things. Uh, Did it make you remember prison? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, that that kind of that kind of locked off uh, scenario. Um, what can I do to benefit myself? Okay, get my notebook out, right? And the, uh, that was the only the, the last time I used to write as much was prison. I used to write so much things down, so much maybe write my days down or positive things, stick it on the wall. Mm. What do I need? What's my bad points? What do I good? What do I want in life? Mm. Who am I? Who, who, I had to describe myself on a bit of paper. Let me know who I am. Is my identity. <laughs> Um, damn, I've got to let me learn a language. Mm. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> so that is. So I started just learning a bit of Portuguese. All right. And 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 I thought, wow, I was, I was. Oh yeah, because you was in Portugal. Yeah, I was in Portugal, but because I was around this us up from the UK there. Yeah, you didn't need to. We didn't. No, all we knew was obrigado, which is just thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So it makes sense that yeah, you use yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, and that's yeah. what I think. Someone like you motivates other people because you see the circumstances because yeah. lockdown is hard mentally mm. it really has played a toll on a lot of people you know there is a rise in suicide there's a rise on um difficult mental health and it's how you overcome this because to be honest everybody was like you know 2021 it's going to be different but i don't know if it will and we don't know when this is going to end mm, so you don't even know when you're going to be able to hit the ring again it's very, yeah, it's very true. You know what I mean? So it's, And uh, how do you keep yourself motivated knowing that the thing that you love the most mm. might not be in this whole 365 days? You know what? And that, that has, that's played in my mind a lot, mm. if I be honest. It's like, what if? What's the next type of paycheck that's going to come yeah. in? What it is? But then the Bible says, look at the birds. Do they worry about tomorrow? Don't God love Ooh. you more than a bird? Hey. You know what I mean? So. Yes. Those that that's and that's just giving me strength. Scriptures, because I, like, right. I was raised on scriptures, so yeah. I had to. Or when I was in, in inside, that's what I used to read a lot. You know what I mean? That's so, inspirational. So we need to be grounded, and it's those yeah, things that make yeah. you grounded. So it's but don't get it twisted. Like I know some a, a lot of people think, right? Well, yeah, I'm more of it, but I do have my downs. The same same those feelings. I do have the downs, but I just if no one's gonna lift, you, no, you can't wait for someone else to lift you up. You can't wait for someone else to love you. You know what I mean? I don't we want the perfect picture, but we must first lift ourselves up. And I think as a woman, and mm. I could actually, let me not talk for all women, kind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I talk for myself. Often I got into relationships looking for that person to complete me. Yes. And that person to love me. And that mm. person to make me feel lovable and loved and loving and all of those things. Mm. And it's difficult sometimes because, you know, companionship and partnership have that. And then when it's gone, you feel unlovable. Mm. And it's, it's how do you... You know, everybody says, love yourself. How do you do that? There is no manuscript on how to love yourself. There's, there's, how do you do this? There's no man. Okay, there's no manuscript to love yourself, but how would you love someone? And that's how you love yourself. How would you love someone? Okay, you want to make sure, okay, you will tell them that they're beautiful. Tell yourself they're beautiful. Yes. Yeah. Tell yourself good morning, you look great. Tell, say, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have the best day, you know. I'm gonna have, you know, I'm actually a fly person, you know. I'm loved. Yeah. Do you see how I just raise up your, 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 your energy already? It's true. Start the day there. It's That's true. How, when I jump up, sometimes I feel a bit down. I say, hey, hey, what am I? I say, bro, the devil is a lie. I'm like, great. Do you know how good I am? You know how fly I am? You know how much time the devil tried and I always win? Yeah. You know how beautiful I am? Look at me. Look at me. Okay, you know what? Yeah. Starting the day, this day is gonna be. Like, this day is gonna be. Yeah. Bam! You hit the day, then you start the day. You know what yes, I mean? That's yes. it. That's it. You have to start the day. I get up, make sure I make my bed. That's one of the first things because that's your first task of the day. Mm. Make it a bed. If you want to have a good day, if you had a bad day, at least you come back to a made bed. And I know it sounds crazy, but those little things like that. Yes. The first task of the day, just make it. Bam! Get on my knees. Thank you, God. Thank you for my two eyes. Thank you for my two hands. Mm. Thank you for my feet. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my dear, look, thank you for myself. I say thank you. Put gratitude out there. Yeah. Start the day. Bam. You said, even me saying that you're energized. Yeah. Do you know how much thing you feel like, right, you know what? I'm gonna go and do it. I'm gonna go and get it. and this is what I I I I have to energize myself. So what made you want to get into personal training? Um, how did I get into Because I've got you know to say, what? you're a great personal trainer. It's something and I, I cuss you off, but yeah. I must say that the mind, body, soul experience that you provide as a personal trainer is 
It's great. What it's made weird you how I, how do I get you see remember by when how I got into how about you so I covered a class. Oh yeah. That wasn't remember it wasn't entitled. <laughs> yes. Man just asked me, can you cover a class? I'm like, oh, my I remember, ah, cool. yeah. But I've got something that when I step in that room I switch on. Yeah. So I'm not your like I always say, I'm not your friend. Yeah. I'm your trainer. <laughs> yeah. And then remember that's my line, isn't it? Yeah. I am not your friend. I do not yeah. care. So I switch I, I like to switch on. Then I know about the mind can do more than what the body. The mm. body says tired. So basically, my thing is, as soon as I'm in there, I start mm. talking to you, but I get into your mind. Yes. That's the only thing why people feel, oh, they need, you need me to train. It's because I'm in your head now. Mm. I'm waking up the power. But it's not, it's not me. It's really you. Because yeah. it's your mind working. Your mind can do everything that it, it wants. If you know what I mean. It's anything. Because at times, it I don't feel like I can't even do it. You know, when the legs are shaking and I'm like, nah, you're telling me one more lap. Are you mad? And like, I, I am going to drop down yeah. today. And, like, uh, and I've, I've seen you come in fight and then you start getting so used to it that yeah. you start leveling like and you're like, coming in <laughs> and I'm like I'm even pressured like I'm thinking okay I've got other people in this class I can't train them like yeah. how I train and then you. we started doing but one to one you, you want to go a bit up yeah. but then it's going to kind of push everyone into a stage where they're going to run off if yeah. you know what I mean so it's yeah. like um, and then yeah. you're creative with it because you use some, like I can only talk about as well what mm. you do with me yeah, yeah. but also what you do for yourself so yeah. I've seen videos of you when you've gone back home. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you're in the yard of your, comp- your compound. Oh, yeah, yeah. And yeah. you like tie yourself. What, what is it that you do? You, you tie yourself yeah. and you run with a rope. Like it's mad. Oh, I had some little rope I bought from UK. So I, I put it. So I thought, you know what? I'll just, I'll just turn it into a sprint exercise. That was the only, you know, you're right. I'm quite good at just making up things. I can look at something. Okay. That, that, that turns out. Turn that. Okay. That's, that's a workout. So, yeah, I was just trying to... I, I like to always feel... Always stay on top. So, if yeah. I wake up, I've got to do something. I've got, I got to do something. I've got to achieve something in a mm. day. And you... In the hot heat of Africa, you used to get up and train. You're on holiday, though, fam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I remember you saying that. You're meant to be on holiday, though. <laughs> yeah. Because you'd be like, I'm not training you this week. I'm on holiday. But then you'd be up at the crack of dawn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just training. Training. That's just, how serious you are. Yeah. And I think that's what we miss, you know. We miss mm. commitment. A lot mm. of us get into things and we don't commit to it. Yeah. We're not uh, continuous with it. Because it gets hard. It does. That's what I mean. It gets hard. Like a diet. I start a diet every five days. Yeah. Every Monday, you know. <laughs> hey, it's Monday. <laughs> <laughs> new things. I downloaded yeah. something new, a new app, and I'm like, yeah, going to get this. It's- and then by the Friday, I'm like, cha. What is a Chinese man's number? Yeah, some sweet and sour Hong Kong yeah, style, listen, you know? Like, listen, I listen. I lo- people don't like, listen. I love food. I love no, no, fried no, no. chicken. I've seen you like food because you eat like ten slices of bread one time. Oh <laughs> yeah, you see, you just body the bread in it. I was like, yeah, but I, but you know, it is. It's cause then, then I think, you know what? What do I want? There's things I would, there's things I badly want, and that's when I have to say, okay, I've got to sacrifice mm. because I want it. If it was easy, everyone will be at that destination what I'm trying to get to. You no, know and I, mean? I understand. I think when you've got compounding things, though, mm-hmm. it is difficult to... Like, I've had parental loss. Okay. Yeah. And I must say that, you know, it came at the same time. Marriage breakdown, parental loss. Wow. Job, that's everything. That's and, that's you know, them times you're just like, I can't do it. I mm. can't do it all. I need... But I did, as you mm. said. Yeah, you, I'm you here, it? you're here. I'm I remember you going through it. That, that's what, and that's what I said. I'm God here. always is. Are you gonna survive for it? Are you gonna thrive for yeah. it? That's my two options: yes. survive or thrive. Yeah. Then I thrive. You thrive. You, thrive. You, you, you have to thrive. What would you say was the worst moment of your life? Uh, I would think in my heart. I think mum passing in prison mm. because. Uh, that day, remember, I couldn't, there's no, there's no friend or club or anywhere I can go or have a surrounding or, yeah. I was just in a cell. And you knew that she died. And it then. just kept repeating. It just, it's just, things are just repeating in your head. Was it regret or was it, what, what was the it feelings was, that was repeating? It, it was just, no, it was just the pain. Mm. And it was just, you know, you know it is, it goes quite and hits you again. Yeah. And, but the only good thing is that, I got it all out in a confined place okay. where I couldn't. Okay, what what normally happens? What I've I've noticed because you can mask it with. I mean, I don't know if it's you drink get busy. or me. You get busy. You, you get mask busy. It. I, my mom died on a Saturday, mm. and I was there. 
and with everybody, etc. And then I went to work on Monday. Yeah. Because that was my coping mechanism. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, I don't want to focus on this emotion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want this emotion to be at the back of my mind. Yeah. So I went to work. Yeah. You didn't even have that option. Because no, don't no. get it twisted. Five days in work. I popped down. I was like, nice yeah, too much. Yeah. Because there's only so much you can mask the mm. emotion. But you were able to grieve. And that's what I find. We don't really acknowledge the importance of grief. No. I think people do need to have that moment to cry. Yeah, yeah. Let and, out. And, and men, yeah. black men, I think that's one of the areas they struggle with. Uh, yeah, I think, yeah. Because we, we, it's not... How can I say? I can imagine a man just coming out in the open, just breaking down. We look at him. Oh, you know what I mean? I think that's... Our society, what's wrong with this guy? Mm-hmm. We haven't accepted that we go through mental struggle as well. Yeah. Mental pain. We have breakdowns. We have weaknesses. We have a side that's an emotion. We have a side that needs care. But um, don't feel to open it up. I've had, I've, I've had experience that open up and then that person has not taken it in the way that I thought would take it. And it's made me think, oh, damn, I shouldn't. And I've opened up and it's... And it's been the right thing that's got it off my chest. Yeah. You know what I mean? But it's just all about, I think at a period we have to normalise that, you know, guys just talk to people. or just... There's a big um, campaign at the moment about mm. men and mental health. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And would you agree that, you know, there are a lot of men that suffer in silence? Yeah. yeah, yeah and yeah. what could you, as John Harding Jr. stroke mm. pesta, mm. do about it? Only thing I can do to them is let them know that the same struggles that you think I go for it. <laughs> Listen, I had a, I had a fight live on TV that I lost. So you think I was just jolly happy. You know what I mean? Like with hella inboxes and you know what I mean? Like <laughs> yeah. hella people stopping you on the road and remembering, but saying, yeah, well done. Better luck next time. You know what I mean? Like, do you think that it was, it was easy? You know, it wasn't easy. You think I did mentally break down? I did. I did, I did mentally in my head for a while. And there was so much things happening. You know what I mean? There was so much things behind the scenes. Like having, you know what I mean? Some people think you see on TV, then they just see as a millionaire. And yeah. you know what I mean? I, there was someone close to me that backstabbed me. And it, and it was just, everything was just like, what, what? But then the, the, that, you know, when you hit that anniversary when your mum passes and that yeah. hits you as well? Every year. Okay, the, that <laughs> hit me. Your birthday hits you every year. Yeah, so that, that hit me like, Wow, as well and it was just like so much yeah and then I had to fight back I had yeah. to fight back mentally am I going to survive through this or am I going to fry I had to fry down here I start running in the mornings again listening to more visuals so you start praying you start getting back I start remembering hold on I'm that guy you I'm blessed guy. do you know that there's 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 over how many billions of people in this world and there's a billion people that died. And if God put them all in one room, do you know that every single one of them will have a different fingerprint? Yes. That's how unique God is. So what are you then? You're a unique human being. There's no one like you. There is no one like you. There's no one like you. Once you focus on reason, you are a unique person. You are a blessing. There is no one in this world that has your fingerprint. You are one of a kind. Hey, look, even, even them words itself, I man, know. make people like, wow, no, hey, no, no, no. Like, you, like, you know what I mean? Little, woo. You yeah. like, woo. That was a moment, so You have to, you have to, bam. Yeah. And these are, these are the moments I have. Yeah. I'm, these are the moments. If I'll be honest, that's my secret. Like, that's, these are the moments. I, I do get low, but I go through that moment. So I just, I zeal myself because no one else ain't going to do that to you. you got to learn to do that to yourself. So if someone does it to you, okay, yeah, it's it's plus. It's like me just saying, yeah, let me like my own post. So if you mm. like on top, it's a bonus. But I've already <laughs> Wait, liked like myself. Like Not really, but I'm saying <laughs> yeah. in general, yeah. if you know what I mean, it's almost yeah. like that. Like, yeah. It's going back to loving yourself. Yeah, yourself. I, I, being I love your it. own cheerleader because mm-hmm. that's important. We've how can we expect people to cheer for us when we can't cheer for ourselves? Mm-hmm. You know, it's been a pleasure having you to sit down with me today because thank you, man. It reminds me that. I am unique. You are. I'm unique. I'm one of a kind. I might not be on BBC and I might not have a blue tick. But you will have that. But I'm unique. You but it doesn't define me. It doesn't define it doesn't you, but define you will have all, all what you want. You have all it. All of that. Everything come on wall set. I, I ripped down blue tick on my wall. I looked and I was like, oh, damn, I got it. You got it. Because you know why? You know why? Because I, I, I visualized it. Yeah. Visualization is everything. Everything. It's everything. You visualize this, we're here. You know what I mean? Like, someone, you know, visualize, I don't know, uh, like, 
someone's tired of writing letters and sending it, they visualized a, a phone and the text, and we all, we have it, cameras. Mm. You know what I mean? Like someone visualized everything. We used to use those type of phones, that like red yeah, one there, dial up phones, dial right? up. But someone visualized yeah. something different, and probably when they came of it, someone said, "Huh, huh? You know, that's bit, foolish. It's never gonna work." My, that ain't gonna work. Like, this microphone, oh, it's not gonna work. No, I'm just gonna do it and take your voice and put it in there. It happens. Yeah manifestation that's the power that God's give us in our so mind. if you could give one message to those of us that are watching you yeah. and needing some inspiration today as a final minute message oh a minute yeah. not oh. even a minute oh. whatever you feel I would say um, if you're going through a hard time you're not the only one and hard times are not there to kill you hard times to make you stronger it's a process Understand that it's a process. Don't see hard time. Don't see pain. Don't, don't see downfalls, failure as something that's to destroy you. No. You've asked to be something in your life. It's come to turn you into what you're meant to be. You know what I mean? So everything I've gone through in life, the pain, it's been the process to get to me here this day. So all it is is just go through it. Enjoy it. And one thing, love yourself and believe in yourself. Believe highly. Know what you want in life. Sit down at that moment. I want this. I want that. It's going to happen. And and love yourself every day. Tell yourself you're great. Tell yourself it's going to be a great day. That's the first thing I said about today. And right now, what? I'm having a great day right now talking to you guys. Because you know what? I woke up today and I said, you know what? I'm going to have a great day, you know? it's gonna. I'm going to have a great talk show. I'm going to have a great yes, show. Yes. I'm going to inspire someone with what I say. Yes. I said that before I came here. Love that, and and that's the energy that I'm I'm feeling is going towards and watching now. I appreciate it. So thank you for joining us. This is one of my favorite underdogs that I know. Love and blessings to you. Bless. Thank you so much. Oh. It's been a journey. It's been a journey. It's thank been a you. Journey. Thank you.